episode title starting with the letter P to T. Pirate's Treasure. Paul Gauguin wasn't just a master with paint and a brush. He was also a well-known woodcutter, printmaker, and potter. Nautical whistles are actually called boatswain's pipes, and they've been used on boats for hundreds of years. The high-pitched noise they make is perfect for being heard. Over the sound of wind, storms, or other things going on aboard the ship. Paul Gauguin was born in France, but he eventually moved to the Tahitian Islands, where he painted the local scenery. While there, Gauguin built a cabin called House of Joy to live in on the island of Dominique. George Bizet took piano lessons from his parents when he was very young, and he got to be so good that he was admitted to the Paris Conservatory to study music when he was only ten years old. George Bizet wrote his first symphony when he was only seventeen years old, but it's his opera Carmen that he's most famous for. Even though Carmen was written more than one hundred years ago, you can still find it being performed all over the world today. We know that waves end at the beach, but where do they begin? Waves build up in the middle of the ocean, where they form because of the wind. The size of a wave depends on how long the wind blows and how much open water it has blown across. If you take a close look at Katsushika Hokusai's woodblock print under the wave off Kanagawa, you'll see Mount Fuji in the background. The print is actually part of a series of 36 wood blocks called 36 Views of Mount Fuji. We know that waves end at the beach, but where do they begin? Waves build up in the middle of the ocean, where they form because of the wind. The size of a wave depends on how long the wind blows and how much open water it has blown across.